I'm Dustin Fuller with this news podcast on Wayne County Now. A reminder, local news, weather, and sports anytime can be found at MyWayneCountyNow.com. Illinois State Police late Friday evening responded to a single vehicle accident along with air evac. At 11.22 p.m. Friday, a 2016 Dodge Challenger operated by 21-year-old Nicholas Cone of Flora was traveling north on Wayne County Highway 16 when he ran off the roadway to the left side. The Challenger went off a ditch embankment, overturned into a field, and came to rest. Officials say Cone was ejected from the vehicle. Cone was airlifted to a regional hospital with serious injuries. He was cited for improper lane usage, failure to reduce speed to avoid an accident, and failure to wear a safety belt. Fairfield City Police arrested a Fairfield man on a charge of possession of methamphetamine on Monday at 9.25 p.m. Authorities took 44-year-old Randall D. Cottrell into custody. Cottrell is being charged with possession of meth. He's being held in the Wayne County Jail pending a court appearance. Wake County Sheriff's officials took a report of a car versus deer accident on I-64 near Mile Post 92 in Oral Township. Incident took place at 12 noon Monday. 40-year-old Holly J. Davis of Carmine was traveling west on I-64 when a deer came into the path of her 2019 Ford Escape. No injuries were reported. Over $1,500 of damage occurred to Davis's vehicle. A group with Fairfield Ties will be performing at the Grand Ole Opry in July. Chuck Wagon Gang has performed numerous times at the Opry, dating back to the 1950s. They are scheduled to perform on the stage July 7th. Josh Garner of Fairfield is part of the group. His mom, Marty Garner, still has ties to the community, working at the Victorian on Main. Again, Chuck Wagon Gang will be performing at the Grand Ole Opry July 7th. Fairfield City Council meeting right now at Fairfield City Hall. The meeting being streamed on the City of Fairfield Facebook page. On the agenda, the city will work through an annual contract renewal with RJ Marketing, the hiring of a school resource officer, the purchase of a police vehicle, acknowledgement of the Kemper CPA planning letter, an IECC training agreement, a zoning board appointment, and the dangerous building and condemnation proceedings for a building at 120 Young Drive. Wayne County Clerk and Recorder Lizanne Woodrow has released the agenda for this Thursday's Wayne County Board meeting. The meeting is set for the meeting room basement at 7 p.m. on Thursday. According to the agenda, Jay Edgren is set to resign his position on the Greater Wabash Regional Planning Commission and is recommending the chairperson appoint Sharmila Kakak to that position. Besides the standard reports, the only other item on the agenda is ARPA requests if there are any. Free fishing days are coming up June 14th through 17th in Illinois. Free fishing days are an annual four-day celebration during which anglers can fish without purchasing a license, salmon stamp, or inland trout stamp in the state. Illinois DNR officials say that it's a great opportunity to introduce friends and family to the fun of fishing. Taking a look at community calendar notes on Wayne County Now, presented by Carterby Square in downtown Fairfield, Southern Illinois' fashion leader, Follow Carterby Square on Facebook and Instagram and check them out at CarterbySquare.com. At the Wayne County Senior Center, there is Bible study taking place Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Wednesday morning activities will continue at the Fairfield Public Library. This week, it's the Douglas Heart Nature Center for the activity. Activity Wednesday morning begins at 10 a.m. at the library. It's presented by Wayne County Enrichment, the Wayne County Historical Society, the Fairfield Wadi Office, Wayne County Health Department, Friends of the Fairfield Public Library, and Fairfield Public Library Foundation. The next Fairfield City Band concert is set for Thursday at 7 p.m. on the lawn of the Wayne County Courthouse. You're invited to bring a lawn chair and enjoy the sound of music from the City of Fairfield Band. The first market in the park in Wayne City is this coming Friday at Wayne City Park. The event this week, sponsored by Napa Wayne City Auto and Truck Parts, Handsome Howie is the musical guest. Jan and Dean's Corn Dogs and Billy Bob's Barbecue will be on hand serving food. Hope Ministries of Jeff will have their food distribution this weekend. Registration gets underway at 9 a.m. on the west side of Jeff Grade School. Those in need will register with officials with Hope Ministries, and the officials with Hope Ministries will load the vehicle for you. On Saturday, June 22nd, 
Alphabet Kids Daycare in Wayne City will be holding a pork burger fundraiser at the three-way stop in Wayne City. Service begins at 8 a.m. and goes until they're sold out. For $5, you can get a pork burger, chips, and a drink. All the proceeds will go toward the end-of-summer party and equipment for kids at Alphabet Kids Daycare. We'll take a look at the weather forecast coming up in just a few moments. This is Wayne County Now. Dive into summer with the latest styles at Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield. From top to bottom, Carnaby Square has everything you need to embrace the season in style with brands like Charlie B, Multiples, Jess and Jane, Lucky Bird, and Tribal in sizes from small to extra, extra large. Plus, Carnaby Square carries the largest selection of Brighton purses, jewelry, and accessories around. Carnaby Square, the fashion leader in Southern Illinois, located at 115 East Main Street in Fairfield, making you look great since 1980. No time to run to the bank? No problem. People's National Bank makes banking easy and convenient with PMB to go mobile banking. PMB to go allows you to deposit checks, pay bills, transfer money between accounts, view your statements, turn your debit card off and on, and much more, all on your smartphone. It truly is banking at your fingertips with PMB to go mobile banking. People's National Bank, member FDIC. Caring, committed, helpful devoted health professionals and volunteers. That's what CCHDH stands for. Clay County Health Department proudly announces its recognition as a 2024 Hospice CAHPS Honors Award recipient. From Flora, Illinois to the hearts and families in need, they provide more than just care. They provide dignity and comfort. With a dedicated team of physicians, nurses, and volunteers, they ensure every moment counts. Join us in celebrating Clay County Health Department's commitment to excellence in hospice care. Because in the end, it's not just about providing care. It's about providing comfort, compassion, and a guiding hand. Clay County Health Department, where every journey is embraced with warmth and understanding. Find out more by visiting healthdepartment.org forward slash programs forward slash hospice or call 618-662-4406. It's time now for a look at the weather forecast on Wayne County now. It was a nice day today. It starts warming up, though, tomorrow. Calling tomorrow for a sunshiny day, high of 85. It'll be clear tomorrow night. 62 will be the low. Sunshine for your Wednesday, first 91 of the uh, soon-to-be summer. There is a slight chance of showers in the forecast for Thursday evening. Thunderstorms possible late. Partly cloudy skies, low around 70, a very isolated chance at a severe storm. So we will keep an eye on it, but if anything does break, we will keep you aware of it. Friday, mostly sunny, high of 89. Mostly clear Friday evening, 65 will be the low. 91 in sunshine Saturday. Saturday night, mostly clear, the low of 88. Sunshine on Sunday, high of 94 for Father's Day. And Monday, our next chance at showers, thunderstorms. Mostly sunny, high of 93. By the way, I forgot to mention, tonight, clear conditions, 56 will be the low. So you might need a hoodie tonight if you're outside. But for the rest of the weekend, it's the rest of the week heading into the weekend and into next week. It's going to warm up just a tad bit. We'll take a look at aerial obituaries coming up in just a few moments. This is Wayne County Now. When Justin, a local volunteer firefighter, needs one of the department's trucks serviced, he calls CAM, whose repair company keeps everything rolling. In turn, Justin helps keep CAM and all of the community safe. Together, they support each other. And Wayne White Electric Cooperative supports them and every member with safe and reliable power. It's why REMCs exist. And together, it all works. At One Step Ahead and HME in Fairfield, the customer's health and comfort is their top priority. They carry a full line of home medical equipment, plus respiratory care items, diabetic footwear, and supplies that you need. And they make it easy with the ability to drop ship directly to your home. Plus, there's the added convenience of a local office at 1010 West Main in Fairfield with a friendly staff and an easy-to-use app. Now offering Dexcom and Freestyle Libre continuous glucose monitors, that's One Step Ahead and HME in Fairfield. 
when you need concrete or masonry work. New Gen Concrete is your go-to in Wayne County and the surrounding area. They can help you finish that concrete project with anything from flat work, stairs and stem walls, to decorative stamping and masonry resurfacing. New Gen Concrete, set in stone on Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Call 618-516-5002 or email them at LLC at yahoo.com to get on the schedule today. If you're looking for supplies for memorial decorations or a memorial piece, look no further than Everlasting Florals, formerly Leg Manufacturing, at 900 West Delaware in Fairfield. Owners Chad and Melissa Musgrave offer a full line of wholesale and retail floral supplies, soak flowers for every season, and even manufacture a variety of items in-house, from wire and aluminum saddles to cemetery can holders, shepherd's hooks, and flag holders. Everlasting Florals, making the world more colorful, one stem at a time. All right, time now for a look at aerial obituaries on Wayne County now. Presented by Johnson & Vaughn uh, Funeral Home, 106 Northeast 4th Street in Fairfield. And presented by Everlasting Florals, 900 West Delaware in Fairfield. 69-year-old Marjorie Joan Cundiff of Royalton passed away on Wednesday, June 5th at her home. She was born September 30th, 1954 in Fairfield to Lee and Rosie Tondini Bolid. She married Melvin Earl Cundiff on May 5th of 1973, and he survives in Royalton. She's also survived by daughters Melissa Cundiff of Marion and Mandy and husband Don Johnson of Plainfield. Three grandchildren, Aaron, Zachary, and Eli, and a brother, Michael Bolin of Anniston, Alabama. She's also survived by a sister-in-law, Karen Bolin of Cisna Park, Illinois. She was preceded to death by her parents and a brother, John Bolin. Marjorie was of the Christian faith, and her wishes were to be cremated. A gravesite service is set for Brown Cemetery in Cisney on June 22 at 11 a.m. The Gilbert Funeral Home of Christopher and Cesar are in charge of the arrangements. Full obituaries, including survivors, at MyWayneCountyNow.com. The loss of a loved one can leave you with a lot of unanswered questions, feelings of stress and anxiety, and grief. The experienced funeral directors at Johnson & Vaughn Funeral Home in Fairfield can help guide you through all aspects of the funeral process to provide you with a beautiful, lasting tribute to your loved one. Call them at 618-842-6006. The Johnson & Vaughn Funeral Home, 106 Northeast 4th Street in Fairfield, serving the Wayne County area with compassion, dignity, and respect. There's nothing like getting together with old friends for a great visit and a nice, relaxing atmosphere. That's what you get at All-Star Package at 100 North Milner Street in Sisney. Besides being the place for package liquor, beer, and wine in the Sisney area, it's also the place to stop in after work, watch the game, or just meet friends to catch up. You can also try your hand at the slot machines in their video gaming room. Open 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. Monday through Saturday and noon to 5 on Sunday. That's All-Star Package in Sisney. Whatever your project might be, Gibbs Excavating and Land Management, LLC, has the right tool and the expertise to get the job done right. The crew at Gibbs Excavating and Land Management can handle any job from stump grinding or forestry mulching, driveway repair, concrete demo and rock work to dirt and auger work, trenching, and even garden tilling. Call 618-516-1462 or email austin at austingibbs70 at yahoo.com to schedule your free estimate today. Time now for sports on Wayne County now, and we are getting ready to check and see what is going on in youth baseball this evening. That check of youth baseball is presented by our friends at Bears Flooring. Trust the pros at Bears Flooring at 105 North 1st Street in Fairfield when you're in the market for new flooring. With a showroom full of carpet, tile, laminate, LVP, and hardwood in a wide range of styles, textures, and colors, Bears can fit you with whatever you need at a price that fits your budget. And with three to four crews working daily, there's not a long wait for installation. Bears Flooring in Fairfield open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays by appointment. Stop by or give them a call at 618-842-4224. All right, let's see what's going on in Fairfield Youth Baseball tonight. It is June the 11th, 2024. In action, it is 10U play. Barbed Wire Grill takes on Dream Homes, and Napa will take on Fairfield Memorial Hospital this evening. Those are the only two games on the schedule for youth baseball in Fairfield. 
We'll take a look at softball here in just a moment. Softball for youth in Fairfield, covered by Wayne County now, presented by Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler. Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler, where exceptional service meets unbeatable deals. Located at 412 East Main in Fairfield. Lamont's prides themselves on offering a vast selection of top quality vehicles to suit every lifestyle and budget. Whether you're in the market for a sleek sedan, a rugged truck, or spacious SUV, their friendly team is here to help you find the perfect ride. Plus, with their expert finance department, getting behind the wheel has never been easier. Visit them today in downtown Fairfield and drive home in style. All right, let's see what's going on for Fairfield Youth Softball this evening. Starting off in action in Coach's Pitch. Ginger Ales will battle Strange Pump Equipment. That's the only game in Coach's Pitch this evening in Miners action. Tonight, it is Lewis Scrap Metal battling Doug Amen State Farm. Napa takes on Precision Eye Care. And Happy Day Express will take on Keys Real Estate in Majors Play this evening. It is People's National Bank taking on One Step Ahead and Rick's Towing battling Country Roads Realty. That's been a look at softball this evening presented by our friends at Le Mans Chevrolet Chrysler. Check them out, LeMondsOnline.com. Major League Baseball action tonight. Atlanta is at Baltimore, Washington at Detroit, Chicago Cubs are at Tampa Bay, Cleveland at Cincinnati, Pittsburgh at Boston, Miami at the New York Mets, Colorado and Minnesota, Pittsburgh's at St. Louis, New York Yankees are at Kansas City, Toronto is at Milwaukee this evening, the LA Angels are in Arizona, Oakland's at San Diego, the White Sox are at Seattle, Houston is at San Francisco, and Texas is at the LA Dodgers. In the WNBA this evening, Action on tap for women's basketball. Shows Washington 0-12 on the season, taking on the 5-4 Atlanta Dream. That is a 6-30 tip this evening. Also in the WNBA, Minnesota's at the Las Vegas Aces. The Lynx 8-3, the Aces 5-4. That is a 9 o'clock Central Time tip. LA Sparks 4-7 on the season, take on 7-4. Seattle Storm, that is set to take place this evening in Seattle. For the latest local news, whether it's sports anytime, visit us at MyWayneCountyNow.com. Another dose of news, whether it's sports, comes to you in the morning on the Wayne County Now Morning News Podcast. I'm Dustin Fuller.